this is George Cow, and in this short video, I want to talk with you about the power of recommitting to your goals, especially what I call your process goals, which is the habits you do that help you to keep improving and reaching the results goals that you are aiming for. Okay, so when it comes to trying to install a habit, a good habit in your life, what happens is that life starts to throw you some curveballs and it starts to uh, erode your sense of commitment and your sense of, yes, I can do this and I want to do this. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Have you ever backslid on a habit? And I laugh because I know that probably all of us have. I certainly have countless times in my life. And so I want to encourage you to think about creating some kind of a ritual of recommitment to some good habit that you want to create. Whether the good habit is to stop doing something and replace it with something good or whether it's to do something that you haven't been doing regularly like whether it's writing or reading regularly or exercising regularly or uh, fill in the blank something that you know is good for you might be it's good for your your career or your business okay so what do I mean by a ritual of recommitment um, human beings have for th for probably tens of thousands of years We've, we've used rituals to symbolize something important in our lives. Um, rituals of all kinds. I mean, there's, of course, you know, um, you know like uh, bar mitzvahs. That's a, that's a, you know, like a, like a coming of age ritual, right? Or a, a marriage is a, is a ritual of commitment to somebody else. Or it could be um, the start of a year, you do some writing of New Year's resolutions, and that's kind of a ritual as well of recommitment. But the problem you'll notice is that we don't recommit often enough. Like some people, they recommit at the beginning of year, right? The, the New Year's resolutions, they write, write it down, they put it on their mirror or whatever. And then as January goes on, rolls into February, they lose the motivation, they lose the newness of that recommitment. And we human beings need newness a lot. So why don't you apply novelty to your recommitments? So for example, if there's something that you want to do on a daily basis, so whether it's you know reading, reading some important books every day or writing every day or exercising every day or not doing some bad habit every day and replacing it with something, a good behavior instead, why don't you make a um, at least a, 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 a monthly, if not a weekly, ritual of recommitment. Choose a day of the week. So for example, Sundays are good days for a lot of people to recommit. Some people go to, go to church on Sundays and that help, that's a ritual of recommitment to their life of um, spirituality or their life of virtue. Does that make sense? But I'm talking about something specific here for a specific habit of yours. So for example, let's say you want to, um, you want to, um, uh, stop doing so for example right now what I'm the, what, what I'm going through right now is I I'm a little bit addicted to a particular new video game I started playing a couple of weeks ago and I'm trying to stop playing that video game so much and instead replace that uh, moment of wanting to play a video game wanting to stop being bored right or wanting to get do something easy like play my video game and instead to sit with that feeling of boredom or that bad feeling of oh, this is hard, whatever I'm doing, I want to do something easy. Just sit with that feeling a bit and instead do something healthier as a healthier way to recover my energy and my motivation. And my, I do what I call my energy reboot. Um, I'll link to that in this video notes, uh, in the notes of this video, if you're interested in that. But do a ritual recommitment. So for, for, for me, for example, what I do is once a week on Sundays, I just in my own room, in my own room, what I do is I, I hold my heart and I say, I, I recommit this week to, and actually what I've been doing is recommitting every single day, every morning, but even if it's every Sunday, I recommit. And this is what I recommend. You make a conscious effort to recommit to your good habit and you move your body as a sign of that recommitment. So move your body, even taking a step forward, you know, to say, I am recommitting in a sober, and conscious way recommitting to my habit again. Now some people also find it helpful to have some kind of artifact as a symbol of their recommitment. So if you're going on your walk, try to find something from nature like a small stone or a small branch or a leaf 
and say, this is my recommitment this week to doing X, Y, Z on a daily basis. Does that make sense? So, so ritualize it by making conscious recommitment, uh, move your body in some way. Um, if, if that helps you, I think it does help us to, to kind of take it more seriously. And if you need to find some artifact, some, some people call it a talisman, it's basically a symbol, a physical symbol of your recommitment uh, to, your, to your habit. So I hope this is helpful. Make at least a weekly recommitment I recommend for something that's daily. If it's a weekly habit, make a monthly recommitment. Um, if it's a daily habit, sometimes you, or it's something you want to do multiple times a day, like me with not playing my video game, right? Because that's a temptation that happens multiple times a day. I need to make a daily recommitment. Sometimes multiple times a day I make a recommitment. So make, make this ritual recommitment new for yourself. Um, get creative with it and you'll find yourself um, more easily achieving your goals and, and improving your life. So until the next video, I wish you well, and I wanna show you my very, very good dog, Buddy, who's been very patient the whole video. Buddy, say hello. Well, there he is. <laughs> All right, be well.